because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like to. Too funny, it. mama. <laughs> so, now that was and I, I was like, I had to do like a song. Too funny, mama. What's with the grip? I think it's um. We're live. This oh hey this charger works. Um, I gotta charge my phone. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Hey Sherry hey. Shepard, how are you? Hey, I'll give it back, Jeffrey. Thank you. Okay. Hey, well, hello. Hey y'all, welcome to uh, two funny mamas, i.e., one funny mama, because we can't find the other funny mama. Did you close the door? Okay. All right. Thank you. Our one funny mama is missing, so it's there's one funny mama and, and a man, Chris Dimon, our producer of Two Funny Mamas. So, hey, Chris. How are you, Sherry? How you, how you feeling? You look great. It's sunny outside. I love the shoe backdrop. It's a good look. Thank you so much. It is very, very sunny outside. I'm so excited. New York, we're on the time change. It's like not dark outside. This is the first time I don't have ring lights. This is literally... Even if I turn it this way, oh my gosh, it's like this the most amazing light, uh, but I'm gonna put it this way. And um, yeah, it's, it's, but it's still cold outside. It's really, really cold. Yeah, I don't it's know what it's deceiving like. deceiving here Lewis. too. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's you see the blue sky, you see all the sun, and then you're like, you walk outside and you're like, is that a wind burn I'm getting? Thank you. Cause this, this day I went to walk, I said, I'm gonna walk my one or two miles. And I have my little shorts on and a little, crop bra thing and i walked out i was like uh oh that's frostbite let me go home and take my butt back inside so it is very cold but um but it's nice it's like it's a prelude to for what's to come which oh, is what i preview I, 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 yeah so i'm um yeah we were supposed to kim whitley was supposed to have been here but we miscommunicated i think i said this is the best day for me and i think she said well it's not good for me and then I showed up. <laughs> That's pretty much how it, how well, it happened. I showed up. Yeah, yeah, you're here. Kim's ran a couple solos, so it's nice of you to yes. also, you know, run in there. Last yes. week we were kind of, we, Guy Tory was kind enough to play the part of a funny mama. He hung out I with saw. us. That was a good I time. Saw. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, said it's my turn. Kim has been so great. Um, and I said that we could do Q&A. So it's not going to be a long podcast because I'm packing to get out of here. Tomorrow I have to fly to Atlanta because I have five sold out shows at the city winery. Thank you so much. That's incredible. And, um, yeah. And then I got to do stand up tonight. I was getting really nervous because I haven't been able to get on stage. So I went up last night and uh, it's amazing when you haven't been on stage in like a few weeks, you feel so rusty. So I got on stage yesterday. I got to go up again at 10 o'clock tonight. And I leave to go to Atlanta as soon as my show is over. Where are you at tonight? So at uh, com New York Comedy Club. Very nice. Where'd you go up last night? Street. New York Comedy Club. Oh, same I didn't go one. To the I'm the same one. So I'm going to the same one tonight. And um, really great crowd. Really, really great crowd. I hear for for the for those kind of clubs and everybody hears about the cellar. It's it's super famous, obviously. Um, what are your crowds like? Are they tourists? Are they international? What are you working with? It's more it's touristy, but it's still a different kind of crowd. Cellars like young, hip. Um, this one was like young, uh, but it was also buppies, yuppies. It was uh, Wall Street bankeries people. Okay. Um, you always notice the black people in the audience, one and me two people. You said one black person there to see. It was one. And they had the nerve, the one black person, he, Ooh, I said the N word and he went, Ooh. And I was like, <laughs> I know, what? I know you not Ooh and me. There's only it, two of us. We, it, like, we really got to support each other. Well, so, I hope it worked out. <laughs> Yeah, it worked out. It worked out. But um, Lexi, you got to sit down. What are you doing? People have asked so, about Lexi. How's how's she doing uh, in New York? She's good. Let me see if I can call her over here. Big dog. She's she's really getting old. Lexi, come here. Happens. This quick. is a lot. Yeah. We moved, and so she's now. She's kind of like wandering around trying to find a place in this brownstone. We got a brownstone, and Very um. Nice. And so she's just kind of, I got her up here in the office with me. 
but she wants to be downstairs. Oh, gotcha. but I gotta go stairs. I gotta, I gotta go with her. So I need you to. I need Lexi. Come here, baby. Come here, that mama girl. Cause she's that mama girl. Come here, mama. That's that mama, mama monster baby. I'm gonna let you see her. Hold on, Lexi. Looking good. She, uh, she, you know what? Yeah, she's got a little more gray in the face, but she looks good. That mama girl. That mama baby girl. That's that mama girl. That's that mama baby girl. That's that mama monster baby. Oh! So that's, oh, your breath. God. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so that's Lexi right there. Um, and she's huge. She's 100. She's 134 pounds. Not, Kim be showing her little, her little punky dogs. <laughs> and uh, this one right here is all, she's, she, this is what she goes all the way back here. That's all muscles uh, on this dog. I just don't know if you can down. see. That's how big she is. No, I love it. Yeah, she's freaking huge. So I'm gonna come back because I don't like dogs taking focus. Okay, you got, and you can't move her because she's strong. <laughs> when I try to move her, it pushes me out the way. She's strong as I don't know what, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, look at that, mama girl. I said that. Look at that. You see how like gray? Yeah, she's still wearing it well. A little salt and pepper. She is, but you know it's so funny because um, corsos, Connie corsos. Mm -hmm. Go go to. The boys go to ten years old. That's their general lifespan because they're usually bigger. Boys yeah. get to a. 80 to 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. So even a, a male puppy is three times as big as my girl, who's 134 pounds. Yeah. So girls, their lifespan is about 12 years of age. So she's she's 13 now. Um, and you could tell she's got like everything is great. She probably still got about two and a half more kills in her. If somebody <laughs> was to come up in this house, she could. She is a guard dog. <laughs> No don't forget it. it. Yeah, yeah uh, don't forget she's a guard dog. But uh, yeah, so. No, I like I that. I, got, I had the pleasure. I uh, Whenever I worked from your house for a few days, we became walking buddies. She's a great dog. She's a great dog. She is. So it's hard for her out here in New York because where we lived in Woodland Hills, we were five minutes away from Kim. You know, you, you walked her. It's like you see dogs, but it's very residential and suburbia. Yep. But here in Manhattan, it's a completely different thing. Like we don't have any trees outside of the brownstone. It's the That's concrete. Crazy. Yeah. Like at least he says it's a concrete jungle. So, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. So when we go outside, there's grates everywhere where it's like, you know, the sewer water and stuff. Oh yeah. That's where she pees. She pees. So you can hear she pees in the grate. Mm. And then we try to find a little patch of grass that a hundred other dogs share, which you can imagine what that's like. And me, you know, Nancy, nice neighbor, I pick up all the dog poop from every dog. Oh, that's little, a lot. In that little patch, I pick it up so that Lexi can go. But it's harder because she sees a lot more dogs and she's not socialized with other dogs. Therefore, when she sees a dog, all 134 pounds rears up because mm. either she wants to fight you or she wants to play with you. And it's hard to tell. Meanwhile, the torn rotator, uh, the muscles in my rotator cuff are screaming. Um, so it's a little bit harder for her because yeah. there's so many dogs here in Manhattan. That's so part of it. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I try to take her out uh, at nighttime or, you know, if I see another dog, we'll cross the street. And uh, it's those little yip yip. It's them little dogs that got three legs. Think they're the OG gangsters. Them little three legged dogs are something special. I dealt with that. I lived in downtown St. Louis, which you can imagine uh, at times can feel a little bit like The Walking Dead, which you saw. But you have people. I had a, a pit bull and an American bulldog mix. And it's like they were to the two of them was like walking one of your dog. But they definitely won't turn down a squirrely offer from another dog and that would get annoying if there were people out and about so i feel you for yeah, sure. oh yeah yeah i i just gotta jerk her like a horse and go yeah and then she'll stop <laughs> like, whoa whoa yeah, exactly that, hey, that thing that thing no. <laughs> i gotta try it but uh, uh, yeah so 
I got something for you, Sherry. Um, yep. As we've uh, just went live and we've surprised folks with this, we've got a good crowd building. If you could, people, share the stream. Make sure people know about this. It's our march to 100,000 followers. So if you could, subscribe yeah. and tell others. We're keeping this thing going. Sherry's busy. Kim's busy. But you know what? Two Funny Mamas, your fans have made it possible to keep this thing moving. So absolutely. a couple questions from the live chat as we'll do throughout this hangout today. Let's just talk. That's the KLJT digital broadcast. Says, Sherry, what time do you get up to get ready for your talk show? Good question. Oh, my gosh. That's a good question. Uh, the talk show, I got to be there at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock usually because I have to do a fitting uh, with some clothes that have come in the night before. So it usually takes about 30 minutes to do a fitting. Then I got to rush to hair and makeup because I usually do not have a wig on. So I rush to hair and makeup while Theo, my hair person, is pressing the hair or curling the hair. And then Rodney's putting on slathering on makeup. Now, before that, I have to get up at 4.45 in the morning to get ready to leave the house at 5.30. Oh. Um, and then 5.30 takes me 30 minutes to get to my trainer. So I get to my trainer. Hopefully, if I can leave by 5.30, which I usually don't, I usually live around 4.40 because I keep leaving stuff. Uh, I get to my trainer about 6.10, and we work out until 6.00. 50 or 7 if she's being really mean to me naima if i get there 6 10 by the time i take my clothes off and get ready to work out i'll probably leave there about 7 10 7 15 then i rush over to the studio so i'm late everywhere and um i'm usually at the studio by 7 20. so once i do my fitting with wardrobe i gotta get to glam hair and makeup theo will slap a wig on me any old kind of wig uh Rodney puts on a basic face because I have to go outside and go across the street to the production office to go over my hot topics. And by, by the time I get outside, there's a line on each side of the doors of people who are coming to see the Sherry show. And they tend to not like it when I come out with my cornrows and no makeup. They like the, they like the, it's an event for people. So they like it when I come out and I'm made up or have a makeup on, I have a cute outfit on just across the street. So they come out and they're screaming because they've flown out. Uh, it's amazing. They've flown out from different places and different countries just to see the show or while they're in New York. So it's a lot of people outside. And then I, it takes me 45 minutes. Um, if I go over to Hot Topics about 8, 10, I'm usually done about 9, 10. So it takes about an hour for me to go over hot topics because I've got to look for a story and I immediately say, what is the funny about this story? What is the light about this story? Like there's a, I don't know if you saw Kristen Stewart, uh, Chris, she's coming out of a car and she's in panties. Like she's in these shorts, hey but they look like panties. And so of course the construction workers are cat calling and, and, she, and she's all shy and, so when I looked at that, I laughed because I go, you're wearing panties. Yeah. I don't care if you call them shorts, they're panties. And there is no, you act like there's going to be no men out there. There is nowhere in New York where there's not construction going on. <laughs> there are construction workers or skywalkers everywhere you go in New York. They're either putting something in the ground, taking something out of the ground, or building something above ground. But there's construction workers everywhere. So, um, like, I look for funny in that. And I think, I, I think I'm going to say, if I was to be walking around like that, it'd be Haynes her way with a lot of flowers in my underwear. <laughs> so, you know, it so then, you know, uh, I got two producers who are females. They might add to that. And I'll say, ooh, that sounds good. Let me, I, I want to say that. And then I have Norman Baker who if people watch the Wendy show, Norman would be with Wendy to kind of keep her on track so she didn't veer off. So he is the head of Hot Topics and I love him. So he, he's typing everything in my prompter so that because once I say the joke, I don't remember it anymore because we have six more, seven more Hot Topics because most times I got to talk for 18 to 21 minutes in that chair. So I can't possibly remember every joke that I said off the cuff. Right. Because that's what I go off the cuff. I'm stream of consciousness. 
They give me stuff. Sometimes Norman will come up with something that's so funny and I go, ooh, I want to say that. And then we go back. I usually got to rehearse if I got a special segment. You know, I'm doing a pogo stick with Flavor Flav or... Of course, um, you know, totally normal. Uh, who's the guy from the Fugees? He came on my show. It was Lauren Wyclef. Hill. Wyclef John came on my show. So I'm, I'm practicing my Haitian phrases and we're doing like a whole game show about, can you recognize this song? Is it a Wyclef Jean song or is it a Wax song? So I got to go and do rehearsal for that. If we have stuff we're selling, morning saves, suitcases, flashlights, I got to know how everything works. Um, then I go in and, and finish my makeup and my hair. Then I got to get changed. I used to say hello to the audience in the mornings, but it's taken so much time. Wardrobe was complaining that they don't have enough time to put mm. my clothes on. Because I would spend 10 minutes talking to the crowd, like at a comedy club, just to kind of get a sense of if they were, you know, energetic or kind of, uh, or kind of, we don't want to be here, it's cold. Right. So uh, they, I had to stop doing that because wardrobe didn't have enough time. And what was happening was if I ate some cookies the night before, I couldn't fit the outfit with Willie. He was sewing me in the outfit and he didn't have enough time. So if it busted open, you know, I, it, it, everything was thrown. <laughs> so that's my day. And then I get behind, I, I go, they brief me again. Norman comes over and they go over those hot topics and they go over everything, all my jokes that I had thrown out so that now I have the jokes sitting in the front of my cortex. And um, I run upstairs really quickly. There's about 23 stairs that I got to run up in the mornings to say hi to the guests, like really quick, like, hey, I'm so glad you're here. Give me a hug. This is going to be great. We're going to have a good time to kind of reassure them that it's going to be so much fun if they haven't been on the show before um, or to tell them I'm a big fan, you know. So then I run down the 23 stairs. I go stand behind the door. They're still doing my hair and makeup. John Murray, my best friend, comes and prays with me that the audience will feel better than when they came. He finishes praying, he says, and that so that the audience will, and I go, feel better than when they came. Or if I'm in a bad mood, I say, feel better than when they came. Or if I'm tired, I go, oh, feel better than when they came. You just get and it I done. Get um, yeah, sometimes you're not in the best of moods, you know, it's tired. Or, you know, somebody from your family didn't call and ask for some money right before oh boy. the doors open. Oh boy, <laughs> uh, I do have oh something of a surprise. Can Is your phone near you? My phone is right here. Would you call Kimberly Whitley on speakerphone? <gasps> yes, I will. And I know she's going to be complaining about something. Oh, yeah. Something. This, is, this is, I'm glad I'm not on camera. This is what she's going to say. Why didn't anybody tell me yeah. we were doing the podcast? I did Chris, the podcast. You told me we were doing the podcast. And you're going to say, I did tell you. I texted it. I don't read my text. She'll Nobody see. told me about She's going to be all mad. Joshua had a science experiment. That's pretty much what's going to happen. And we'll um, get to more questions here in a second. Raphael, I see some good questions from you. Uh, Darletha, God's Little Girl, uh, BJ, Felicia, Marsha, Felicia, Kimberly, Jesse, Renee, all of you, Char J. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Joy what B, are you doing? Sitting at this kitchen table. Why are you not on the podcast? I know, but I know you're sitting at the kitchen table, but why aren't you on the podcast? Because I just texted Chris and told him to call because I didn't know if y'all was going what y'all was doing. Okay, we're on the podcast. Are you going to join us? I would, first of all, watch your tone. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I, this my day's what, made. My day's made. This is what I. All I said was, "Are you going to join us?" Listen to what you said. I said, "Are you going to join us?" I, no attitude, no judgment. Are you going to join us? I'm on my way. What does that mean? I got to put on these glasses. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm in the kitchen. You know what my office is. Okay, so is that you're gonna in five minutes? You're gonna be here in ten minutes. I'll be, I'll be there in three. You know, I'm not because you're not supposed to get me ten to walk over there. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be. Here. 
Okay, we're go we're live and everybody's you know they're waiting because I said we lost you, but hopefully. All right, all right, all right, all right. Five, three minutes. Okay. okay. Three minutes. Did she hung up? Okay. Kim, <laughs> Kim Whitley, everybody. Does when I tell you about that girl, when I tell you, uh oh, I lost myself. When I tell you about that Kim Whitley. She never she ne like there are very few things that are sure things in life. Would you agree? Yes. Kim Whitley being entertaining is a sure thing. It is. That's, that is a sure thing. Going to can happen. See, can you see my face? It's so much sun. I'm like. Yeah, what? it's it's hitting your neck. It's like you've got like a stripe. It's not on your face. You actually, it's a little in your eye. Maybe if you yes, face like, uh, face the sun. I don't know. Blinded by the light. All right, here. Let's Red let's get a couple questions before Kim jumps on here. We got a. Uh... Oh, that's better. Oh, oh my gosh, it's oh, so much better. Mark from Cleveland's in the house. We always love Mark from Cleveland. Hey, Mark. Oh, that looks good. Uh, this is the best sunlight. Right. It's it, and this is look at all the color in your room. Like this is a great setup. I wish you could do it like this every time. Sherry, are you no longer on on Friday? Cause your show for the past two weeks on Fridays on repeat in Houston. That's from Darletha. Yeah, Darletha, it's reruns. There's a, it's something, um, there's a certain science to talk shows that I'm just learning about. And around this time, uh, it, it, people don't watch as many talk shows as it starts getting warmer. So it's something about since ratings kind of go down anyway, and people don't watch as many sh talk shows or daytime TV, like on the on a, the beginning into the weekends, um, they were like, well, we'll save our live shows for Monday through Thursday and then put on for a certain period of time, put on a rerun on Friday. So yes, mm. on Fridays, we got we got a repeat. Now, the, the science of that, I don't quite understand. What I do know is they said, you ain't got to work on Friday. And I said, okay. So <laughs> I didn't fight them on that. I really didn't. I probably should have and said, no, talk shows is my life. And I, and I have no other life. So, yes, let's do it. It's pretty but common. I and I said, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. What's that? It's in live show formats that happens. It happens in radio a lot, where the oh, does the, it? No, the normal hosts will take off on Fridays, especially if it's an afternoon show. Yeah, so so Fridays is a re repeat, like you just said, and um, which allows me. I like Friday out because it allows me to go do stand up because stand up is a Friday night show and a Saturday night show. So that's how it was on the View. I don't know if they do live. I think they do live on Fridays. But the entire seven years that I did The View, we did not work on Fridays. Fridays was always a pre-taped show. And um, a lot of people, fun fact, like News Chris, they will put the stuff out on a Friday or a weekend because not many people are watching oh. TV. Oh, I just saw Friday, it last Saturday, week. I, I, you could pay me. I, this is going to be lost on so many people, but I, it's a perfect example. I, you, I would bet hard cash money. The St. Louis Cardinals, the baseball team here, announced that they extended their manager on Friday last week. And there's a lot of people that were like, excuse me, why? They didn't and like that. Without yeah. question, they chose that Friday for sure. And then, too, you get into like Monday morning. Everyone's getting their info out on Monday mornings and all that stuff. So then that yeah. can be, it's so weird how, how audiences and things trend. But here's a question from Raphael in the live chat. Uh -huh. Are you... This is, this is a good one. I think you answered this a few weeks ago, but it's good to reiterate. Raphael asks, are you done doing movie and TV show appearances? No. As a matter of fact, on April 2nd, I got to do Sex Lies of College Girls, which is my show on HBO Max. I'm so excited. I love acting, and I'm always so concerned that people are going to forget that I'm an actress because I do the talk show every day. Yeah. So when I get a chance to act or, or get offered a part or audition, I'm on it. Last week, or the two weeks ago, I said I auditioned for Airplane, remember? But oh, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about because you were talking about how um, how Mindy kept asking about me whenever you were getting ready for the, the TV show again. Sorry. Mindy Kaling. I was asked. I, I said that Mindy Kaling. That was Sex Lives mm -hmm. of College Girls. Oh, yeah. That's um, right. But she was asking about Chris Denman, right? 
asking about Chris Denman and wanted yeah. to know what was going on with Chris. Got it. Um, but no, I said that I had gone on an audition for Airplane, but it wasn't Airplane. It was, is there something called The Naked Gun or something like that? Uh, An old movie. Yeah, Naked Gun. Yeah, absolutely. It was a remake of The Naked Gun, not not uh, Airplane. So I went on that audition. I have not heard anything. It was the love interest for Liam Neeson, which not that I don't believe in myself or that I don't manifest things, but I kind of feel like when you're talking about the love interest for Liam Neeson, you're probably picturing somebody that didn't tan as much as me. <laughs> I don't, don't, hey, I don't know. I mean, I'm maybe. not selling myself short. I just think unless unless they find out that there's no woman pre-tan that can't do it, I think maybe they will go outside the box, which is maybe what they were doing by, you know, auditioning somebody, you know, me. So I did it. I don't know how well I did. I haven't heard anything, but here's the thing with auditions. You do them and you forget about them because otherwise you make yourself crazy. So I auditioned for that. And I'm doing Sex Lives for College Girls. And they called me back for that show Harlem because I play Shaniqua Shondai's mother in the show Harlem. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I'm going to be in Vegas. So I don't know if that's going to work out well. I'm certainly going to try. Would, but, you, um, yeah. would you then recommend Kim Whitley to step in for you if you had an acting gig that was available that you felt she could fill the role? Well, I don't have that kind of power because usually if I have to audition for it, then I have to, the Kim would have to audition for it. And if I couldn't do it, I just it would have to, a list. I want to know why you're avoiding, I, uh, why are you avoiding getting Kim a job? No, not, I can't get Kim a job. Just like I don't Kim know. You're pretty powerful. <laughs> power is subjective. Now I would recommend Kim. I'd say to them, if I couldn't do it, I go, but my girlfriend, my girl, Kim, Y'all should look at her, but I can't say to them, hire Kim. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely would say, I don't know. I recommend. I feel like maybe it's just a lack of effort. Oh, I know why you instigating. You funny. <laughs> <laughs> you, you funny. I, don't, I, just... I wish I could. I wish we, I wish we could give people jobs like that. That would be so. It's, you know what? I, I I would, I'm sorry. Wait till you see what I see. I, what? It, um, thumbs up if you hear me, uh, staff. Thumbs up if you hear me. Purple, purple hair. Thumbs up if you hear me. I gotta no. go. This no. sun is like tripping. I gotta go. I, gotta, I don't know. I'm gonna we'll, go. we'll see. This is gonna be good. Are you ready, Sherry? Are you ready for this? Oh, would you have a Kim? Ooh, that's better. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen. Ready. Hey, red hair. <laughs> Kim Whitley. You can everybody. get me a job at Denny's. <laughs> I told you I don't have no power. You do, what's what's to, what's up? Moving around. Uh, it was too much sun in my eyes, so I'm going to get my chair and put it in front of the window. Just give okay. me two seconds. To talk. Why Kim, how are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, I was... All of the foolishness. Why? It wasn't like that when I came over. It was all, nothing was in that room. Well, you now she's saw No, because everything was in boxes. I'm moving my chair. Like this. Kim, what? I'm... Oh, boy. <laughs> Welcome to your show. Hi, oh, my gosh. Everybody's excited to see you. We got live chat. Uh, Raphael says I'm messy. I was trying to kind of stir up some things. Shira no, Johnson you Hughes. <laughs> you like that, Kim? She's here. Tell her Sherry interrupted and Chris they didn't give me. Hey, Yolanda. Mm. My stylist is here. Oh, can you get her to bring the iPad down and plug it so we can go through the pictures? Yeah. Ask her. Um, we can go through the photo oh, okay. And we can pull them up. Yeah. How long y'all been on it? You know who I was on the phone with? Uh, Ariva Martin. Oh, I ain't been on. Nope, I was on the phone with Cedar Lewis. I love Cedar. That's what she gonna bring the thing. You wanna go through the pictures today? It's Yolanda. My stylist is here. Hi, Yolanda. Yeah, let, let me take Yolanda. Sherry went to get a chair. The chair was right there because she was just in it. 
She said, I'm going to get a chair so I can sit in front of the window. She'd been gone for 15 minutes. She went to get a chair by way of the refrigerator. I'm going to tell you. Oh, yeah. You know what? Can you tell uh, uh, the young girl? All right, people. How about I just mute these two and I'll just answer your right, questions. But what we need, because I need my room, because I got to pack the boot. I, I got to move downstairs. Yeah, here she comes. V asking the question, we're all wondering. V w says, what's up with the Moses stick? Kim had the had to part the Red Sea to get from the kitchen to the podcast. When I tell you about this damn stick, this girl, let me tell you, where's my, she walked. Kim, are you accepting uh, nicknames? Uh, yes, I'll take it. The Warrior Queen. I'll take that. She walked into my hotel. The hotel. From the, N from the NAACP Image Awards. Well, Kim walked in Yolanda. with her Wakanda stick. I did. What is that? Oh, your thing. From my computer. I did. I got a. I have three of them. You got three of those sticks, Kim. Rafiki. Okay. Uh -huh. You're right. <laughs> and she walked in with that stick. And when I tell you, when I tell you, this girl literally day. looked like I my old I did. Uh -huh. I did. But that's and she be running things. I got a, I got a little impingement, so I'll be walking with my stick. Damn, where did so everybody you... go? Uh uh. Okay, look at that. That is, I do, I'm Gandalf or Gandalf. That's what I tell people. That's who I am. It's Lord of the Rings, right? Gandalf the Gray. Gandalf, right. that is me. <laughs> Gandalf Niqua. Gandalf Niqua. Gandalf Niqua. Oh, no. I'm going to take that. I love Gandalf. He passed away, didn't he? No. He did? No. Who was the I one who passed away? Was it, what the, was it from? Um, uh, the Hobbits? Not the Hobbits. The, uh, the uh, what's his name? That, Harry uh, Potter. It was Harry one Potter. of them. Mm -hmm. Now you, you, you know might, what I wanted to ask you? You might be no. thinking about... Uh, Who sent that? Who sent that? She can't see because of the fake hair in her eyes. Oh, it's a pinto water. I got my, here's mine. I got my pinto. You sent this. Oh, you mean you just got some? Yeah, you sent it to me. I drink it. Yeah. I drink it. Yeah, I sent you, you got some more. Okay. I sent you some more. Oh, Lord Jesus, this child. She trying to get me to write. Hmm. Because you can drink it. If y'all ever get to see Sherry drink a bottle of water, she knows how to do this. I can't do it. She can do this and down it. And I don't know. I think that's why they call her uh, deep throat. Okay. <laughs> Kim, look at this picture. Kim, were you talking about Christopher Lee? Yes. Now, did he pass? He did. Yeah, he did. Yes. Okay. He was in uh, The Hobbit. Well, that, so he played, okay, we're going, we're getting real deep into my childhood here. We got Sauron. He played Sauron, who turned evil in Lord of the Rings. And he was kind of, he okay. used to be, he he used to be a good guy. Yeah, he was a good oh, wizard. He turned That's bad. what I thought. See how Sherry drinks? Now, what, what was your nickname for her? See, Sherry ain't got no gag reflex, I think. Okay, there it is. Erica Erica Knighton in the t in the chat says, "Hey y'all, ladies, you both look great. Love uh, heart. That's a heart. Chris, you win MVP just for your patience. Thank you. Oh, Erica I'm sounds very Hold nice. Up. I'm coming. I dropped the thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry. Okay. She so to join us, but she's got to go. Oh, did she leave? Oh, okay." No, she's no, still here. Still yeah, why are you you are white? Oh my god. Oh, can you can you turn the light off? Mm -hmm. She's jealous. No, no, because you look like a look. ghost. Oh, now I'm green. You green. Okay. What happened? Yolanda, we can go through this picture thing. Oh my head hurts. My neck or something. Yeah. I'm doing my podcast. Um, 
See, everybody, this is a podcast. This is should this be. Was, we we have, have, this in for the award. Excuse we, me. For oh, Yolanda. Look, Kim, look, look. And then I start talking. And then I start talking. For oh, Yolanda. Kim. I need to move out my room and move down to the downstairs bedroom. Why you didn't tell me that? I got to get back to LA. My my yeah, your guy. Go ahead. No, we can. No, no, no. We can do it by the 28th. Or well, no, I'll come sooner. Back on Monday. I, or sooner, but I just need to get some clothes. It's a lot going on, y'all. I, I ordered some more leggings from New York and Company. I went on there, but they don't have too many leggings. And I would they borrow are. leggings for Terry, but you know she's so short. Yeah, right. they're gonna be flooded too. They're gonna be knickers. Do they still say knickers? Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, some people do, Kim. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, well. Chris was going to answer that. <laughs> Not Nick. What are they called? What are they called? Uh, Nickers. I think, it, I think, it, I think, it, I think there's a, I think it's an us oh, on the Nick. edge. Us. Caprice. Caprice. No. She's talking about Caprice. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's, that's cute. Don't yeah, you don't, like you don't say the ER. I used to that's live in a building finished. called the, the Knickerbocker. What do you think about there's that? There's a Knickerbocker in uh, L.A. Cute. That's one of the photo shoot pictures. That's is that your new headshot? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah, because Yolanda, we're going through. Uh, we took it. She made me make do a headshot. Show, show it again, she please. Me, she made me do a photo shoot. Yeah, show it again. Okay, I, I'm gonna tell you why I don't like this as a headshot. Because uh, my face is covered. Because your face is covered. A headshot is not that is a editorial shot, or if you want a publicity yeah. shot. Comedy yeah. shot. Uh, 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 what'd you say, shot? What are here? Hold on. I'm going to show you another one. That is a great shot for if somebody wants to feature you in a magazine or a newspaper yeah. article or um, you got a, a belt, flyer. A belt ad. A belt, a belt ad. That's not a good headshot because it should it have face. your face. You got a good it's head, off. Kim. Show it off. Mm-hmm. I've been told that before, Chris. Yeah, I bet you have. Why is your whole face green? That's just what I'm I told remember. you it was green. I said it was green, but you didn't like me being ghostly. So I don't know what color you want me. I just said you it was fast green. and pray. Did you fast and pray today? Because the day was the day. Yes, I did not eat. I just ate maybe about okay. two thirty. What were you praying? I, was, I didn't pray like I was supposed to, but I prayed. That's the second day. You told me that. That's two days in a row. You said, I didn't get to pray like I was, and I was eating M&M's. Yeah, that's what you said. I didn't say I was eating M&M's. That's not what I said. Okay, hold up. That's even better, but okay, this is why this is why it's too much makeup. Oh Lord! Oh, we had a lot of. Remember, we went from makeup to glam. Mm-hmm. It's too oh. glam. It's a, a headshot. But that's who I am. I'm a too funny mama. You are, but what I'm saying. Oh, him oh there you go. There you go. Pull that back a little so we can see your actual face. The lights Same hair. Up. You I see think... in, two, in two weeks, boy, the hair go bad quick. <laughs> hair. Okay. No. That's, that's, that's too a, much makeup. That's the best of the three. A, you you got people, a headshot is not a glam shot. A headshot is yeah. is natural. Yeah. You're already pretty. You're well, really I can I can just send, then I can just send them a picture of my brother with a wig on, and then we got a headshot. Hilarious. Okay, you don't have to take that tone and get frustrated. A I headshot is because right there it's all God. You look God. If they were doing America Horror Story, you look like a pretty ghost. Pretty cool. Your headshot should be much more natural without all of that eyeliner, without all that red lipstick. Okay, what about just this with the green tone? What you think about that? What you doing now? Yeah. Perfect. Cause you gonna go in there looking dead. You gonna kill. Him. No. Uh, really, Chris? Okay. That's sugar. <laughs> That's sugar Boy. from one. The Friday she was young. That don't even feel like that's me. I was so young. What would you say to that girl? I'd Baby. say, oh, Kim, sorry. 
What I would have said to that girl was go ahead and give it up. Stop being so tight with it. It ain't gonna get you nowhere being tight. And what do you th where do you think you would have gotten had you weren't were you not were you a bigger house than I got now? <laughs> <laughs> She'd be, she. She would be living with. She'd be living with her husband, denouncing his royal his royal parents. That's where she'd be. I'd be with my husband right now, frustrated. I don't know why you keep sleeping with these little young girls out here. I've been with you your whole rap career. I've been with you your whole producing career. Oh, now you done made all these movies, and you going back and getting the young girls. That's how you got me, baby. Hold on know. to me. I'll never let you down. Oh yeah. There go one. If I'd have just but then then he died on me. That's a whole mess. Oh, look how cute you look. Hang on, let me get to it. I got you. Now, what's this for? Well, you see, that's dumb. That was, look at An Angie in the picture. We were just taking a bunch of different pictures that night in my you living room. Sad. You look cute. It was cute. But Who took had, those? Did Andre take those pictures? The, with what his iPhone? <laughs> okay. No, Steven. What's Steven's last name? Steven I Williams. thought that Andre. I thought Andre had a camera. Oh. When I say we did twenty uninhibited podcast minutes with some well, nice cute. questions, I'm some audience podcast. interaction. Sherry found um, time. You know her little talk show. She done found time in her podcast to give me some time today. So now I'm late. It's a mess. Hey, dear Joy. Should I mute her or do we, do we listen <laughs> right, to this? I'll call you back, okay? Yeah, you got to listen to it. All right, you honey, bye-bye. That's Kim's life. It has never changed in the past 30 years. <laughs> it, it just hasn't. Uh, and what's that? Another shot. Okay. I love how okay, that... you could have just texted me all these. <laughs> Shit, no, Chris, you take too long. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you, you sure? It's a, oh, that's a goodness. good picture. Sherry, why can't that be a headshot right there? I'm at a status that they know who I am. If I send that in and be like, boom, that's Kim Whitley. I mean. Ask your agent. <laughs> Ask your agent. Because it's rude. normally you, you send your, your agents so they could look and give you their thoughts, which obviously That's you were 20. That, when's the last time you sent some pictures into your agents? The way you yeah, run your sitting... show, you don't want nobody picking, pick, send me your headshots, I dare you, let me pick for you. Cause you ain't gonna do that. My headshots never... girl are still from, my headshots are still, oh, that's geez, good. this yeah, so old. This, this is good for a comedy flyer, look at this one. Oh, hey now. Are you showing you your boo? Can you text me that? I'd be like, come see me. At oh, are you grabbing? Are you grabbing just, your boo outside of the dress? It's like, it's like, ah, it's like a comedy. Come see me. Yeah, everybody. Yes, would be great for a flyer. Everybody thought of stand up comedy when they saw the scream video with Janet <laughs> doing that. Yes, they did. That that flyer looks like ah five sold that show. Oh, hey, dear Joy, I, ask dear Joy to try to find that. All right, blow let's up see me. if we got some questions. Live chat. Uh, Pat S says Kim is pretty. ICG that looks so good on Kim. Yvette Thomas loves this. Lady Bags Johnson's laughing. MM says not her brother with a wig on and pretty ghost. Uh, Renee saying what we all think. Kim is very photogenic. Yeah. Yes, she is. She is. But not the right shots for a headshot. Tell you that, mother. Somebody who's uh, casting. Don Trees. Don Trees says to. Oh, Don Trees was asking a question earlier. I saw it. Submit this for the NWACP Image Awards this year. Uh, Sherry, we do let have some you, photos. Let me tell photos. you, okay. my style has brought me some baked chicken. Garlic mashed potatoes, some some cornbread, and what else? Some green beans. Mm -hmm. And Flutter Design on Instagram. She not only dresses me, but she feeds me when I'm not feeling good. That's How many story. points? Don't you talk about points? 
<laughs> the chicken is baked. Oh boy. You're right, Sherry. I am gaining weight because I'm not moving. Love the you, green beans. We go. We gonna go over these pictures. I'm gonna sit and do them with um, uh, C. I'll Mickey. Oh, so that Monday, because I ain't doing nothing. I ain't got nothing to do. Sherry ain't gave me no job. I ain't got nothing. Oh, that's funny. I t she said, that's funny. You told me you wasn't doing nothing. I come over here and you're doing something. That's because Sherry oh, that's and Chris called me at the last minute. But I ain't doing nothing. I can I've leave got, both. I've got minute. text Esther. Yeah, I was going to say the fans. Oh, uh -huh. Don, Tre Don Treese wants to know, Sherry, you're actually going to go to Niecy's Christmas party this year. Christmas. Uh, uh. <laughs> she said no. She just said no. There you have it. First of all, it's March. Why? Right, Why that was we weird. Do? That was weird. Why are you asking about Christmas? That just passed. Oh, oh, you, I didn't oh, know if that was uh, like a thing. You cross your legs in a chair. That's Sick in the heads in the house. Makila. The legs on the couch. Oh. Well, I can't put my leg on nothing right now. Okay, so you mad because I got leg. leg on the couch? Huh? No, I'm not going to Christmas because I'll be here. Oh Lord Christmas. Jesus! What? Oh Lord! Oh no! Get that off of there! Get that off! That's an art piece. Take that water off. Pull it off. Just spill it. Spill it on the floor. There's an expensive art piece in the middle of that. Get it out! Get it out! Jesus! Excuse me. Please. Oh my God! I, I put that. I put the cardboard over the art piece so wouldn't nobody do that. Do not mute this. Okay. Why are we doing water in the dining room? Get some towels. The towels in the kitchen, second drawer. Go get some of those dish towels. Jesus Lord, Father God. What's that other? What's that red? Anything else on the table gonna get ruined? That bell is from Africa, very expensive. Let's get some towels. Sherry, Submit this Sherry. one for an NAACP image Shut award. Shut your mouth, Sherry Shepard. Sherry, this is what would have popped up back in the day right now. Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne. <laughs> you would have thrown to the broadcast test. Oh, my God. As long as that piece did <sighs> not get wet. I'm going to explain Kim's yeah. house to y'all. For those of you who have never seen Kim's house, Kim majored in art, in fine art, okay? So I, she's showing us what it looks like beyond her door. There is artwork all over Kim's house. Why it's not on the wall? Eh, come see, come see. Gosh, um, a lot of stuff going on. They're cleaning and and people, the dogs. It's a lot. People running around. Yes. Oh, so when Kim says she has nothing to do, the emergency broadcast system. That's when the TVs go off. Uh, when Kim says she has nothing to do, that's an outright lie. Uh, because there's always something going on in Kim Whitley's house. Now, back to the art. Because she's a, a fine art major and she knows art, Kim has all types of art. Uh, the painting's okay? Yes, the painting's Can we talk, Sherry, can we just make a statement? You know, raising, Whitley, raising Whitley may not have cameras there anymore, but it's still going on. Like, oh, it's still raising Whitley. It's still raising Whitley. I need to take that and get it framed. You want a close up? That right there. Huh? It's my fault. It's your fault? Yes. See, Mickey, come and explain yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. Come and explain what happened. Uh huh. The brand new humidifier. Brand new. <sighs> J Rock, the actor. Kim is so authentic. We love it. Uh, Char J says, real black mama vibes. Lady yeah. Stu says, Kim, water belongs in the dining room. <laughs> C. Patterson. Yeah, water 22. does belong in the dining room. I thought the same thing. It's a dining room. <laughs> Tia oh, well, you gonna put the painting up there? Huh? You gonna put the painting up there? But then the dust is gonna get on it. Oh, oh, Sherry, do we want to go big screen okay, on this? Do you want a there, better view of what's happening? Yes, big screen. You gotta <laughs> the painting. Okay, I'm gonna get framed today. You gonna get it framed? No, go on and put it up there because somebody gonna lay something on it or down there. And you know that. Okay, no, go on and put it up there. Kim is no. such an auntie. Oh, it's incredible. And no, everyone, pay attention. Already. Four years ago, when we decided to set this up, Sherry, what did we say? Whatever you do, just make sure there's no sunlight in the house. What room are you in right now, Kim? Her office. <laughs> the sunroom. Like, whole house is a mess. The That's outside. 
That, that, why does it look a mess? It's really neat out there, though. Oh, I mean, it doesn't. It's, you're not giving that justice. That there's a whole place for a party for Sherry. Big lights. Yeah, you got a whole. You got a whole. You can't see without the sun out there how big her yard is. Remember during COVID, we'd have the best party. Okay, like, I was telling everybody that's when like, you got your elbow messed up. If, oh, if, I if that's when you look at the art, elbow. Dan Joy thinks the art piece should go in here. Yeah. What do y'all think is wrong the, with that? The cabinet. It's going to bend the art piece. No, Why, it didn't what, it Did you grab, it. did you sprain Dare Joy's wrist by grabbing her? What happened? D trust me, Dare Joy did that on her own. She was partying and that's what happened. I'm worried about no, her. Dare no, Joy, no, blink, no. blink if you're held no, under your, you're beyond your will. <laughs> blink twice if I need help. That's three. She needs extra help, Sherry. Go help her. Blink three times if Kim is killing you. Okay. Yep, why there you go. Got, why we still got a box of Ada's books over here? Uh, because oh you were supposed to have sent those to Chris. No, oh, I, I, I collected addresses. Those were supposed to be mailed out a while ago. You gonna send it to the it ain't gonna that ain't gonna fit. Okay. Who who are you in the LA hat? What what's going on here? Are you responsible for this? Say hi. Not me. <laughs> it's a lot going on over here. It's a lot of people. It's safe though. We're trying to get it clean over here. What happened to that? What happened to the custom uh spray can we got you from Kababi? Where's that? No, I thought so. That's her, uh, her thermos? I got to find it. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, Sherry, that, let's, that take some, let's take Sherry some live chat. Sherry got the same art. Bring that over here. Let me show Sherry this. Sherry got this, too. We got the same art. Let me what? See. What piece do is that? It? Do I have it? Is it heavy? Look, it's not. Oh, shoot. Oh, Jesus. Don't you have this? Oh, she can't see it. What is it? That, oh, is that uh, the African lady? Yeah, and yeah, it's I in a shadow. That. Hold that for me. Don't you have this? I it. Yes, I got don't it. Have, don't you have that? They packed it, and I don't know where it is. Yes, I got that was it. 2007, Absolutely. that piece. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, no, I got mine before 2007. Oh, always trying to one-up me. What's the artist's name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. It's an African piece that I love. Yeah, um, it's but I, somebody. Is that yeah, you gonna put yeah, it on the door? You gonna put it on top of the Pac Man machine? Until we put it to Okay, then lay it down on top of the Pac Man machine. No, lay it down. That's my podcast section. Lay it up there. That's all the black businesses that Chris refuses to uh put on the show. You wanna talk about oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she she's zinging you. I just got yeah. that. I ain't worn that shirt yet. I love that shirt. Oh, that's cute. Does this look like? Oh, yeah, you could just make a good stack for me. I'll wear that. Where's um, the... <laughs> I bought this, but I can't Ooh. tell you she looks like a black woman. She looks like me. Look at young Kim. That's what you should call her. Young, young Kim? Hot, young hot Kim. I bought her last week. Maybe that's why I bought her, because I, I liked her so much. Yeah, that's not what room are you trying to put that in though. Um, I wanted to put it in my office. Okay. And then that's I got nice. some really great black and whites of Harlem back in the Harlem Renaissance days. And don't forget the letters from your friends. And I and I read my letter from you. It was so I think beautiful. You might be there. Flame He's Monroe, not? Flame Monroe in the live oh, yeah. chat saying, yeah. Hey, what's up, Flame? They moved out completely. But if you put stuff right where wherever you want, we're gonna take it in there. Jenny wants to know, Kim, could you function if everything was organized? No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 That's what we're getting me organized right now. It's she, she laughing. She laughing. Renee says Sherry's looks fantastic. She's lost weight and works out. Wait a minute. Why? Why? Why is that statement even there? What did that go with? It's from the live show. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you keep you from looking away. I knew you'd get back on track. Oh my I God. Talked about Sherry's appearance. Look, look, look. This is random stuff in my office. <sighs> Show and Why? tell. Kim Whitley, everybody. Why you got, what is a drill doing there? What do you want to do with it? Girl, it's ridiculous. You should have a garage sale. I can't have a garage sale here. I wish I could, but you should have one. We could have a garage sale. 
If somebody put it together, I'd do it. The thing is, I got a lot of I don't believe you. You had a fun garage sale. So much stuff. I was giving. You was haggling. You was haggling with the people because they wanted to buy your jewelry for two dollars. What is that? That's that coffee, right? That mushroom. I wasn't selling that jewelry. You know what? Andre, here, you can get it to me. Andre gave me that for uh, Christmas. What's the rest mm. of that stuff? Hand me that um, coffee. There's a base, like a, some wipes. And a... Wipes? Yeah. Oh, that's just a junk bag. That's what Andre gave me for Christmas. And a mask. And a Jennifer, mask. Jennifer says her house looks like an estate sale in progress. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I got mushroom got a lot coffee. Of stuff. Oh, I got to get rid of all this. Coffee. You know what I'm doing with mine? Because I'm giving away a lot of my shoes. How we like, do it? All, Only all fans. These, all of those shoes back there. But you got to save some for auction. I will save some for auction, but I got, I got a bunch of boxes downstairs. So I'm going to invite the interns on our show and the very junior producers to come over for brunch. And I'm just going to let them take all of the stuff that I don't want which is a lot of stuff what if um, i wear a size 12. i don't have 12s in my arsenal I, I've i only got have some, nine, nine i've got and some hand me i've got some hand-me-downs for you kim I, they, yeah a yeah, little I little big on you a little big but i what got artwork i got artwork i got furniture i got some really cute furniture girl that I'm i just called restoration hardware to come pick up this furniture you just call who Restoration, not restoration, hardware, Lord, Habitat for Humanity. That's I was gonna school. say, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Restor I'm like, Restoration Hardware is coming to pick up your furniture. Uh, are you all doing shout outs? Do you all do shout outs? Yeah, yeah. Velma Shockley's 51 today. Happy, Happy birthday, Velma. Velma. Terrell George. What's this podcast about now? Uh, we don't, we don't know. know. It's called Terrell. It's called, no Terrell. Idea. Terrell, mind your business, Terrell. For it's you. a DIY. What is it? We're not supposed to tell a listener. Okay, sorry, Terrell. So listen, Terrell, this is what it is. You know how, how B flat does DY? That's what we're doing. How D to fix D your, your house. D -I -Y. What she do? DY to DIY. 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 Like I found this. I found this box. Speaking of which, Ooh. no Tighten Up Tuesday tonight. B is uh, under the weather. Um, oh, we got a caller. Oh, the Movers. Oh, I've had this box for probably 12 years. Hope it's your passport. Is that a Tiffany box? Yes. I got the and same I'm box. To, it's been here for the, a, a while, and I'm going to give away. Oh. Ooh. A Tiffany Voss. Now, why don't you just gift that for somebody for a, a wedding? Yeah. Because it says Sal and Sherry, so I can't re gift oh. it. <laughs> I was like, a Joni will take that. No, no, she won't. Oh, God, that hurt me. That hurt me, please, because I would have given that to somebody and didn't read the bottom. That would oh, be how Lord. you get busted. It save, says that, Sal and save that for your sitcom. 11. 2000, uh, I, I forget what it was but uh 2011 but it was well, from tiffany it was, a, it was a wedding gift and it's been in like i've had a storage unit for freaking 15 years and this was one of the things i brought a bunch of stuff home and so i just said because normally i would have a garage sale and give stuff away but because i live in new york and i live in a brownstone i cannot do that so I'm just gonna have them come over and just I'm gonna put tags on everything and go, and and I, you know I think people appreciate stuff more when they purchase it rather than when you give it away. So I'm gonna just say whatever's in this box you can have it for two dollars. I need you know I need a I need and a you file. Open it up. It's a box from Tiffany. Two dollars for. It's never been used. He tried to get it in the divorce settlement, but I wouldn't let him. So it's new and you get it for two dollars. So I'm just gonna sell. Um, Are you gonna sell it or give it away? No, I just said I'm not giving it away because I don't think yeah. people appreciate it when you get it for free. But if you buy it, but two dollars, but two dollars, five dollars, I'll give the money to your parents. Kim, you okay. know art. There's a black.
black art dealer that did this for me. And I, I can't find his, I don't have the paperwork. You see it? Oh my God. Yes. It's a black artist. And I think he uh, goes on the Tom Jordan cruise too. I think it's the artist. He does, that's where I bought it. And what this is, folks, is it's 3D. So it's yes. put it on the wall. It's got the stick. You done tell you done tell it up? No, it's just, no, I didn't tear it up. It's just I'm not on the wall. Oh. I'm gonna give it to somebody who has a child who's got a young son. Because it's a whole, it's a whole, it spans an entire wall where the kids are playing baseball and there's a dog that's jumping up for the ball and playing basketball in the hoop. And it comes out of the wall. It looks like it's 3D. It's okay. black. But I don't know the black man's name to even list it because this is really I, expensive to list I would it on send it, I would send it to Sybil. Sybil knows where all those artists are. You know, she oh, does the cool. auction. She does all the auctions for Tom Jonas Cruz. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. She knows tell the you gallery. Yeah, she knows what gorgeous. gallery that's in. Oh, this Look, is it looks it looks 3D, don't it? That, that is, it is 3D. It's beautiful. And it's got like, and it's a whole. Oh, when I'm telling you, it's like, it's absolutely amazing. So it's like, it's it's a whole 3D. Oh shit! Excuse me, oh, sorry. Um. So it's 3D, and you can see it like the dog catches the ball. The ball. Oh, the, the ball's right there. And the dog catches the ball. Oh, that would be great. How are you gonna find somebody with a kid's room that wants that? Oh, that's so I, cute. I don't think I have a problem giving it away because it's so beautiful. I don't have as much art as Kim because oh, I, I don't know what I'd be collecting. I just like it and I get it. But um, Kim has, she's got so much art in her hands. Yeah, we'll Kim knows you know. art. So wait, see, Mickey figured it out, y'all. What? Why? So see, Mickey, why'd the water come out on the dining well, table? Hello, folks. Hey, girl. Hi, Sherry. Hey, I just texted you the other day. I just changed your name in my phone to Sherry Juggernaut because you're on fire. <laughs> oh, boy. I sent Kim the article. She didn't read it. No, she clearly didn't. And I did. I read the article. And I didn't get a response. And that kind of hurt my feelings. She don't oh, like you. <laughs> Tell her about the dead. Why the water? There was a little piece of foam in the bottom of it. So when I pulled a little thing out, then the foam was still in there. So it was lifting it up and then it was like. So she didn't, you didn't put it together. I said let one of them young folks put it together. No, 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 no. That's what I no, said. It wasn't about the young folks putting it together because they wouldn't have taken it out. Same way I didn't take it out. How you know the young people like want to take Just letting you all know in the live chat, we've got a bidding it's war funny. going for the vase. Oh, for, oh. <laughs> everybody's like, I'll pay the 250 for it. Candy birds, you got a shipping card. Candy birds is, is what? And I'm out. Oh, Candy, tell Adios. us about. Listen, yeah. why ain't nobody reading the instructions that come with the oh, a manual? The instructions. Oh. See, I Mickey, am Gandalf. <laughs> yes, love. Just saying hi. How are you? Hi. She, well, oh, I'm, did you see the smile on her face? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Juggernaut. Juggernaut. That's what. So what? Uh -huh. Juggernaut just found. Mickey, thank Juggernaut. you, and I'll answer the bag. I did not. I didn't see the. She's not. Um, I'm for you because she's sometimes so. Sometimes I get so many texts that it it pushes everything down. I Let's know. Me answer. too. With so many texts. But can I tell you what Candy Burris just said to me? Please tell me. Wait. No. 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 Can you? You got to watch yourself. This no, I can't. No, you can't like, look. see it, Candy. Okay, I was gonna say, do we want to see Kim's face? Make a bunch of faces, or are you you gonna tell her what Candy said? Yeah, no, I'm gonna tell what Candy said. So I'm doing a show but in Atlanta. Okay. Uh huh. Doing a show in Atlanta. I know what she said, but I get 15 tickets. No, not 15. Thank God. Uh, but she says Riley, her daughter, wants to come, and she and I love Candy because she's like, I'll buy a ticket for my daughter. Now here's the thing, I'm texting it's Candy back. Down. It's sold right, out. Yeah, it's sold out. But Riley is 21 or 22. And my material, I don't think a 21 or 22 year old is Your material, my material 
maybe your Christian kind of be nasty material is not. What you you like, you don't even talk about sex. Are you kidding me? But do you think Riley would be interested in seeing it? Um, I think I think funny. Probably fun. if you're on TV and you're Sherry, I think she would be interested. You are on a talk it's show. Andy. You are her mother's friend. You are a stand-up, right? Your material okay. and my material ain't for the new generation. We ain't like. And then I was on TikTok, and then I was doing none of that. See, but that's what I'm saying. I don't talk about any of that. Like right. I think Riley would love DC Young Fly. I think she would love Just Hilarious and Be Simone. I think that Riley would love mm -hmm. these girls that are out there now. But at least, at least we honest. Mm -hmm. 21? I don't know about that. Yeah, but she's like well, 21. Um, Coming on the 22nd to 9.30. Let me see if there's another ticket. So... Yeah, I got a lot of people coming. Atlanta's a, a hard one because there's so many people that we know in Atlanta. That's Riley. Riley's going to be a lawyer. Oh, she's so Riley cute. is in her 20s, you know. So she wants to come to my oh, show with her uh, mom. My ex-boyfriend coming. Carlton coming with his mama. Which one? On Friday. Oh, it's just one. So he going to say hi to Just Everybody one. Everybody comes with their mama. And so yep. I don't want Riley to be disappointed because, you know, I'm talking about all of this grown woman stuff. But I think that I'm fu I'm funny. So she will probably like it, but she's gonna leave going, this was more for my mama. She gonna say that. Yeah, but she wanted to show, But your show is more for mothers. If she like your talk show, she'll like your stand up. You do okay, so I'm gonna day. I'm gonna look for a ticket. Which for me a and ride. Andre was amazed. Me and Andre was watching your show yesterday, and I swear it was the funniest thing I ever heard. I'm what did you, I say? You was about, was about no, no fool. You might have been at minute sixteen in your monologue, and Andre uh -huh. turned to me. Andre turned to me and said, "I can't believe she has talked nonstop." <laughs> I said, "Have you ever seen the podcast?" <laughs> he said, "No, I can't believe it." Yeah. I said, "Let me tell you something. If her show was an hour." And she had to talk an hour. He said, but she has no problem with us. I said, do you understand? I tried to tell you this. She has Girl, no was that, problem. Hey, tell me something. Did, was that when I talked about the NAACP stuff? Yeah. Was that? Okay, did you see the, the bit I did about Dion Cole? Yes. Oh, did you like it? Did you think it was funny? Oh, I love the bit. And I wish you'd have said some more. I wish you'd have said, I wish you would have said, uh, you did say that. I think that's what I was like. Did you say something about the Beijing or the or the? You said something. What did you say? No, no. I just talked about how we like being called seasoned and not vented. Yes, that Dion, was a good word. And I told Dion, don't don't act like his check engine light ain't on. That was Alicia Cooper's joke. That's um, funny. But I have to tell you off camera what happened. I had a long talk with Dion at two in the morning. Oh boy. Wait a minute. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. You'll find out. You'll find out tomorrow. Um, it's, oh, I can't it's, wait to because I I had a several. He wouldn't have liked me on stage with him because I would have been because Leslie was taller than him and looking over his head. I'd have been like, but you need to fill in some of these spots on your head while you talking. Yeah, you'll find out. You'll find out tomorrow what what happens. I have to tell you off air. It's, it's in his um, stand up. He does he does that bit in his stand up. He does about Benton. Yes, he does. Um. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few things for you, and I think the fans will like this. Live chat is busy. Everybody's having a good time. Uh, but here, Kim, let's see if you make any faces this. Sherry, you ready? Can yeah. You talk, can you talk us through this? I feel like Kim is just going to maybe have a couple reactions here. Can you just walk us through what is happening here? Oh, my. Uh, Let me go get a break. Let me get <laughs> I knew it. Stop it. Don't go in no break because if we lose you, you're going to be gone. Princess. I look at the princess. Host the NAACP Image Awards, the untelevised. Yeah. People don't know that there's a televised portion of the NAACP Image Awards, which is a major categories. And then yes. there's an untelevised portion, which is like director, sound, 
that's a uh, young artist, a uh, podcast, talk shows, and that's not televised, but they still need a host. So I basically did what Latifah did, but on the untelevised night, and I just had a lot more um, jokes because Dana is not a comic. So in order to get into that dress, it was four people that needed to get me into it. My assistant Edie is on the floor. Uh, somebody else is on the floor tying my shoes. Willie Sinclair is behind me pulling the corset. Theo and Rodney are on my face and my hair. There's some, Will, that's Willie Sinclair on the floor with the braids. Uh, my assistant with the long ponytail is on the other side on the floor pulling the corset up because it has fallen. So that's what I wore and it was heavy and I was hungry and Willie had to help me out on the stage because the train was heavy. And I felt like I was gonna pass out because I had a Spanx on and a corset and all that hair, which is still on me because the glue's so strong. All that Shut hair up. from baby, huh? It's the same hair. Oh, it's cute though. Glue. Those new titties. Those new titties have worked well. Worked well for you because you couldn't have worn that. No, I could not. When I tell you, and I say it over and over, getting a breast reduction was the best thing that I ever did. I literally never thought that I would feel this happy with smaller breasts. Right, and I was supposed to get it first, but remember I opted was supposed to get, to get it my first. neck. Yeah. But my you neck still was hanging. Can. You still no, can. I can't. I got too much other shit for them to fix. They're going to be like, your breast? Really? What about your leg and your back and your forehead and your arm and your elbows crooked? What about those things? But while they're doing that. I asked the doctor. He said he won't. Yeah, oh, because you know what? It's it, you can only lose five liters of blood. That's it. They can't oh. they can't let you lose anymore. If you go over to another country, they'll take they'll be more risky. But here you can't is that, lose. Is that Lionel that's, Richie in the middle? No, that's John Murray. Oh, girl, on my thing, because it's all blurry. I was like, that is Lionel Richie. That is uh, I'm missing two of my staff, uh, three of my staff, but pretty much that is everybody from the Sherry that Show. Is everybody. They flew in for this moment. They lost in the talk show category, but they all came out. And uh, as Willie Sinclair, Rodney, and Theo are not pictured. So I think it would have been like 12 people, three, six, nine. You had have been 12 people. But that's my crew. Those are the producers. Um, the woman in the blue shirt, Fernita, is our Fernita? showrunner, executive producer. The is woman that, in the blue. Black next to Fernita. Um, that's Siobhan. She books the show. Oh, and the, yeah. the man on the end, he books the show as well. And then the woman uh, next to John with the slit, Ashley, she is invaluable to me. Sometimes, let me tell you something. She's, I will, she helps me in hot topics because she's a funny person. She's not a comedian, but she's a, a very funny person. And she'll give me her opinion in a funny way. And I go, I got to take that and regurgitate it. I got, I make her story my own because she's so funny. And then a, the boy in the blue, Patrick, he's our senior producer. So he handles all of the big celebrities that come, uh, their interviews. He, he's Lenny Kravitz is coming tomorrow. He's working on Lenny Kravitz. He worked on Janet Jackson. The one man next to him is Keyshawn. He does all of our human interests. So when we have something that's very touching, he does it. Uh, the one all the way at the end is our assistant booker. Then there's John Murray next to me. The one in the back with the turban on is our is our audience producer. He gets everybody hyped and energetic. I didn't know that was him. I was like, who is that in the that's back? That's Marco. He went full he turban. Part... Wow, part Marco. Yeah, he went, he's he part Indian. And then the the black woman, the fair skinned black woman, Why all the way to Indian, Indian. Really? That's what we're going with? Ugh. He is Indian. That's what he, I didn't say nothing wrong. No, I didn't say you did. I said all black mean? people said Indian. Well, it because you know what Spanky Hayes used to say, Kim? How he said all black people say we Indian. Indian. You know what? Indian, we all in words. Right, right, right. In the end, we all in the end. Remember that joke? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Hayes. Oh, used to shit. tell it. I loved it. Thank you, Hayes. Is he still around? Um, I think so. You remember a comic named Green Eyes? 
Throw your yeah. hands in the air. In the air. In the air. Here's some around. good memories. I'm making my. Do you remember? Um, do you remember uh, Dana? D what was Dana's last name? Dana Point. Dana Point. Dana Point. Dana Point. She's still around. She's still around, but she ain't. I don't think she's doing. You know. Where'd you see her? Oh, I ain't seen her in years, but she's still around. How you know she's still like, around? She ain't doing stand up. She ain't doing stand up. Well, I know she ain't doing. She, I know she fell on some hard times. Yeah, she did. You know where they are having a bunch of stand ups? Where? Oh, you're going to California Cruise. Tom join a fantastic voyage. Y'all got to get your tickets. Get you get a your room. Cabin. Get it's your cabin. Get your cabin. It is the best time ever. Now, Absolutely. yeah, y'all got to get a cabin. You go it's on the, uh, the, the independent. Purpose. Yeah, go ahead, Sherry. Tell them. Is uh who's there? Are the all our regular comics there? Damon and um. Everybody's going on the cruise, but girl, uh, Chris, tell them who the music the music people are going this year. I know Bobby yeah. Brown's one of them. Give me just a second. I'll give you the entire lineup. This is actually pretty wild. Yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Shaka Khan, Bobby Brown, Tank, Ralph Tresvant, uh, Ja Rule. Kirk Franklin, Method Man, and Red Man, Ashanti. That's like an embarrassment of riches. How about this? Damn. Adding to the list, uh, Allison Hines, EU featuring Sugar Bear, George Wallace, J. Anthony Brown, Myra J., Chris Paul, Huggy Lowdown. Going to be a good wow. time. Wow. Yeah. And we checked Allison out last time. Hines. Doesn't she sing it? Do you still love me? Do you still love me? Really scary. Okay. That's a good lineup. I want to go. Dang. Yep, Tom Joyner. Uh, you can go call 214-495-1963. Book now. We're going to go to Labadee, Haiti, Puerto Porto Plati, Dominic Republic, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. Y'all better get your cabin. It is summer, and the boat is beautiful. Why don't you, um, why you down you there in the DR? Get your boobs done while you guys are docked. All right. You need to stop encouraging this. See, this is I'm stepping out. Why do I don't see Sherry's face? Oh, because I covered it. What in the world? I was like, I was like, you know how the thing has the double thing? Yeah. And I was like, where is Sherry? Hold up. I gotta take another picture with Sherry. I gotta send that to oh, our and, friend. And Sherry, Sherry, gotta look up. Sherry, Sherry, oh, look yeah. up. Sherry, look up. <laughs> That okay, looks bad. that looks is bad. hilarious. I just sent it to Sherry. Uh, you weren't on last week, but along with the entertainment, I believe we're really excited about the college night. Really Why excited about that? the college night. What go, is this? Go Rattlers. That's all I have to say. They do a college night on the boat. <laughs> Tom Joyner. That's one of the theme nights? Well, I yeah, uh, yes. Go Rattlers. Go Rattlers. That's all. Look at that fam you. I don't know nothing about no rattling, but I know fam you. Did you want to talk about it more? Is that Tori Hart? I don't know, but she's. I oh, that does look Georgia like her. A young Tori Hart. Oh, my goodness. All right, Sherry, you've you got a show coming up in Alabama. Is that sold out yet? Oh, please come. April 5th and 6th, I'm going to be at the Star Dome in Birmingham, Alabama. You can go to SherryShowTV.com to get tickets. April 12th and 13th, I'm going to be at the um, Baltimore Comedy Factory in Baltimore, Maryland. You can go to SherryShowTV.com to get tickets. Um, the tickets are selling fast, so come on out. April 12th and 13th, Baltimore Comedy Factory. And April 5th and 6th at the Star Dome in Birmingham, Alabama. You can try to get tickets for Atlanta, but my fifth show just sold out. So I literally got like two tickets here, two tickets at this one show. Did you say your fifth show sold out? It did. I need a little um, talk show. I need a little talk show. Um, or oh, you're gonna have to start promoting my stuff. It helps. That is and I still get, but I still have people going, I can't wait to see you and Kim. 
And I would have to DM everybody and go, Kim's not on this one. We got to put it back together. We got to put the band back together. Well, when you all together and you don't have your Wakanda stick, we will. <sighs> Oh. That was good. <laughs> that's, that was good. oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh my you know it's so funny. I'm reading so much about on Instagram how like as you get older, you gotta make sure your hips are, are like sorry about the weight on that. Opened up. Yes, you so do. They, you gotta no, get that so date nice. together. Here are the dates, March twenty second and twenty third. At the, I can't see, Chris. You gotta say it. Yeah, I got, I got you covered. City Winery sold out in Atlanta, but uh, maybe you can get some aftermarket tickets, or you can just go get a picture with Sherry outside the club because she will stick around and talk to people. I, I think yeah. that happens, huh, Kim? Uh, April fifth and sixth, you can celebrate Joni's birthday at the Stardome in Hoover, Alabama. Make sure you go see Sherry if you're in Hoover. Baltimore Comedy Factory, April twelfth and thirteenth, and you can get tickets at SherryShowTV.com. Or right now, as you're watching this. You can just point your camera on your phone at the QR code in the bottom of the uh, of the poster there. So check it out, and you can make sure to do that. So, uh, Kim, I know you all have yeah. busy schedules. I know it's probably coming up uh, about that time. Last week, uh, I believe you were telling us you were on the phone with somebody. Uh, due to the nature of the scheduling of this week, we've uh, opted for a video for next week. But Cedar Lewis came on we had a blast she supports uh the black business segment every week she's the official sponsor tfm 15 is a code for miracle buttercream if you all check out i know some folks i know i want to say my mom a, a few people dm me that they got some of her products after last week so be sure to check that out what were you talking to Cita about kim Cita was sending me that new oil that's what I said. Did you take no, all did. of it? Oh, you took all of my miracle buttercream because I, I can't find it. Yeah. Well, oh, why would you take it? it? I love it. I'm obsessed. Well, why don't you just order some? I can't find not one jar of it. Well, because you had you had you had a lot. I didn't have but three. Okay, I only took three. <laughs> so I have no miracle buttercream because see me after the newest that. thing. No, she's sending me stuff now, but I'm gonna tell oh. her. I got a, a box of it, but I'm all, I got a box, but I'm all the way out here in New York. No, mine's gone. No, Sita is sending some to Guy Tori, some to uh, Kim. But I'm getting the new oil, that oil that she makes now. Sherry, she makes his body oil. I hope it's thin. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. once you get out the shower to put that on. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna order some. Did you hear see Mickey? See Mickey can't wait. I'm um how about some live chat comments? Uh okay. Yeah, because my right arm is going numb. I'm gonna have to get off. Yep. Because <laughs> you talk too much, your right arm goes numb. Will you talk too much? <laughs> v wants to know are, are any or both of y'all coming to the seven five seven? What's that? What is that? Uh, it's that the area, area code seven five seven. Yeah. Know, seven five seven. Where? I knew a dude Where? in 757. Stop Chicago? It. No, that's uh, 312. Uh, but they got another one. There's a couple of them in the suburbs. 773. Seven, that is Eastern Shore okay. and Southeast Corner of the state, including Lower Peninsula, Williamsburg. What? Delaware? Go to Dog Pass Gas. Oof. Okay, oh gosh. We, got the dog. Uh, we, got we won't the dog. be there for a while because we got to figure out our date. Um, was it Delaware? Oh, it's, it's Virginia. 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 You know what? I got to send you a, a thing. The, me, uh, the Kim's of Comedy will be down in Florida. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. At that Fort Lauderdale place I did before. I need to send that to you. Oh, because was it really good so that they're moving it? They're taking it on the road? Taking it on the road, yeah. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's Lord. really, really oh. awesome. Um, I'm going to have to get off because I got to go pack. I got to leave tomorrow for Atlanta. And I'm trying to, and I got to do stand up tonight and I'm sleepy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You do have to do stand up. We talked about that. And You're I got to be up at 4 45 in the morning. I'm tired. Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, I love y'all. I love you, Sherry. I got to, I still got to have a five minute phone conversation with you, Sherry. Um, so let's okay. do that for you. Get okay. All right.
Um, you want to take a couple questions, Chris? Are there any questions? A couple quick ones, and you guys need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Darletha thinks Kim's up to something. She says she's blaming the gas on the dog. Yeah. Well, they don't uh, that's that's funny. Funny. <laughs> Marla Campbell says, see, Mickey's got to get her reparations in Miracle Buttercream. <laughs> that is funny. She should. Patricia, yes. Patricia wants you to make sure that you get uh, a review of the oil, Kim. Make sure you review it for everybody. Uh, EL. Hey, Queens. When are you ladies coming to Nashville for a comedy show? I love you both. Know that? We'll probably Nashville go to Nashville. Be Nashville be good. Yeah, we'll probably go to Nashville. And I'm crashing and burning, which I hate. I'm so sorry. Ladies, yeah. great show. Impromptu Tuesday. It's Two Funny Mamas. Follow Two Funny Mamas on Instagram. Follow Kim and Sherry on Instagram. Anything else you want to say goodnight? Um, sure. Um, thank you so much. This is so fun. I'm, I'm trying oh. to get you guys out of here. Ain't that funny, Sherry? Oh, look what? at the shoes. I was supposed to, I was going to call you so you could say, Why are you calling me during the podcast? Hello? Why is Kim Whitley calling me right now? That's the that's Kim Whitley. She's calling me right now. That's it. Why are you? Why are you calling me right now? I want to tell you to get off the podcast. Oh yeah. Here you go. One last comment, and we're and I'm hanging up on you too. Elaine says, "Hi, Sherry and Kim. I was at the Sherry Show in New York yesterday at the 10 a.m. taping. I had a ball. Thank you, Sherry. Amazing show, Sherry. Did you get to see the Deltas show off on the steps during DJ Sus? There you go. Oh what? man, I did. I did not, but I'm going to tell you, when Angela Bassett came, Kim, there was a bunch of Deltas there, and she took pictures with these two older ladies, and, and um, Angela's in the middle. She did, I, yeah, I'm not going to make the sign, but she did her thing, and the two ladies filled in the triangle, and it was such a beautiful picture. It was so beautiful. Nice, the Delta Deers. Oh, is that what they're called, Delta Deer? Oh, older ones, yeah. I refuse to become one. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, Blanche, you are. Blanche ain't doing it. Blanche ain't doing it. <laughs> it so, no, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't get to see the Deltas. Um, but I thank you so much for coming to the show. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, I'm crashing and burning. There it is. Great show, ladies. We love you. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. We'll be back next week. No Tighten Up Tuesday tonight. Show B-flat some love and uh, follow all of us on Instagram. You know where to find it. Kim, Sherry, great show. Wonderful job. All right. Thank you. All right. See y'all. Bye. Bye. Check, 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 check. Hello, 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 hello. Check, check. Two funny mamas, what's with the grin? Sherry and Kim, yeah that's them, about to throw down again. Tickling the soul from beginning to the end. Two dope friends, I love the way they do their thing. They digress, don't distress, sunshine.